Hello, and welcome to another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. This month, we'll continue to talk about our Courageous Accountability Model, that model, I use graphics and models a lot, and collaboration is one of the most important steps in that model. You know, collaboration, that word comes from the Latin world of labor, co-labor, working together. Working together is very important at home and at work, but especially we're talking about work today. You know, people get so focused on things, a lot of times they forget to collaborate. Well, I want to go back now to talk about the POW camps. The word collaborate in a POW camp meant you collaborating with the enemy. That was the only time we ever used that word was to collaborate with the enemy. And we did not want to do that. They were torturing people to try to get them to collaborate because they wanted propaganda that they could send back to the U.S. to say that here are the American pilots and air crews are against the war. But of course we weren't. We were really very committed to our country and keeping those commitments was a big part of our lives every day. So collaboration now, we want to go back and talk about it into today's world of collaborating at work. And that means you're really working together. You're talking. You're looking at items together, challenges together, and talking about how do we solve this problem. Now, the problem in the workplace today is really that we tend to get into our silo. We get in our division or our department, and we're working so hard to accomplish our mission in that department or division that we don't really pay much attention to that other division or that other silo over there. And that's a big problem in many companies today. You'd think that with all the communications we've had in the last uh, growth of communications in the last 20 years, that collaborations would have increased, but it really hasn't. You know, people are working from home. People are changing in and out. That collaboration is always a problem. And it's just not the normal human nature. When you've got a job to do and you're working on focus, getting that done, it's not natural to think about collaborating. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to think about reflecting about how can I collaborate? Who do I need to talk to to get their input on this? And this may impact them. And what they're doing may impact me as we're both going for the same overall mission in this organization. Well, when you're able to do that, it really, really changes the whole world, and it's going to make you very much more successful. Now, I have done many workshops in, comp in companies over the last 25 years, and one of those is the team, or I get a couple of teams in there, and I ask them an exercise, Tell, think of a group, uh, when a time when your team has collaborated with this team and I want you to talk about together or separately rather how it worked when you collaborated and then they do that and they share that and then I have them share when they didn't collaborate with their group and this group over here and then come back and tell everybody what happened when they didn't collaborate. And you'd be amazed at how their eyes kind of opened up. And it's like, yeah, we probably should have been collaborating more and more and more. And we're going to work at collaborating in the future. You know, that collaboration, working together, is so important in today's world. And it's always been. But it's even more important today, I think. Because uh, so many people are on their phone and uh, doing this and that and the other, but not collaborating and getting people's input to what they are seeing in this uh, particular assignment and sharing what you're seeing and how can we make it all work together. Great organizations that have great success really have learned to collaborate. They're no longer working in divisions and departments of silos. I want you to encourage you to think about this. Now, this month's blog has five keys of the benefits of collaboration. So I hope you'll please check it out. Take care and God bless. We'll see you next month.